What's up everyone, Sean Count Blagrith here today with an album review, this time of the 2017 Nine Gates Records release of From the Cosmos to the Mountains by Appalachian Winter. Had to make sure I got the title correct. And for the record, this is the Pennsylvania Appalachian Winter, not the uh, West Virginia Appalachian Winter, two completely different U.S. black metal bands. Uh, we'll be talking about the symphonic one. Now, if you're not familiar with Appalachian Winter, they are a three-piece uh, symphonic black metal band from uh, Pennsylvania. They've been in existence for many years. Uh, it was originally a solo band up until recently. And uh, I can't remember exactly how many albums have been released, but there's quite a few out there. They're all free for download. So if you want to check out the previous material, definitely do so. Some really solid stuff. Uh, with this new full length, though, I feel like this is a huge step in the right direction for Appalachian Winter. This album is absolutely fantastic. And the thing is with Appalachian Winter is I've always enjoyed the output of this project, but it's never been something that I constantly would gravitate towards. It's a, an occasional spin for the most part, but... With this album, I can see myself returning to it over and over again. This is an excellent concept album about the creation of the Earth and the many uh, stages that it goes through. There are nine uh, chapters, so to speak, to this album. And it's fully explained within uh, the lyrics and the music matches absolutely perfectly. This is huge sounding. While the drums are programmed, and I'm not going to fault a project for using uh, programmed drums because it's easy to do, it's, you're creating music with what you have, and I completely respect that, and they are programmed, and it's pretty obvious to hear. Thankfully, the tempos don't go that fast, save for on a couple songs where it makes it blatantly obvious. But it's never too distracting to detract from the music, so I will say that before I get comments from people saying about the program drums. To me personally, I don't think it's that distracting. Uh, there's much worse out there with like summoning with their obviously fake drums. But there's it works to many degrees, and I feel like it works very well to the favor of Appalachian Winter to the point where it almost gives off a somewhat summoning vibe, which is a great thing in my opinion, but it's not going into the Tolkien realm of Middle Earth and shit like that. The atmosphere is vastly different and in many ways reminds me of Midnight Odyssey. And the thing that is so great about this is the diversity of this record. You have a lot of mid pace to slower pace sections with a sprinkling of fast tempos here and there. And to me, it keeps you from kind of spacing out while listening to it to a certain degree, and it keeps you on your toes, but the mid pace parts are frequent enough where it becomes almost meditative. And it becomes almost a true experience to listen to. It's something that takes you somewhere. And when I listen to an album like this, I wanna be taken somewhere. And this definitely takes me to another place where it's just absolutely cold and you are witnessing the creation of Earth. And I love how massive it sounds, especially in the keyboard department. Absolutely fantastic job. The guitars are definitely there. They're not buried super far down in the mix like many symphonic black metal bands tend to do. They are still present and the riffs are fantastic. I love them. I love the tone. It's got a very sharp sound, but it still has a bit of a mid and a little bit of low end to it to give it a bit more depth and a bit more body. And it helps these riffs to sort of create this more open-ended sound that I absolutely fucking love. And the vocals on this are just so damn good. There are two different types of vocals. There are clean vocals and there are, of course, screams. Uh, the screams on here take up majority of the music. And what I like about them is they have this very throaty, raspy sort of quality to them over the more shrieking, 
howling type. And I feel like this works much better with this type of music. And I think the sound of the voice is fantastic. And the delivery of each line actually does retain emotion, which is something that I like to hear a lot of times. Uh, vocals can feel very hollow in terms of emotion. Whereas with this, you still get an emotional delivery, even with the screams. And another thing that helps with the emotion is the fact that there are clean vocals. While they're not used that frequently, they're used enough to definitely mention. And my favorite uh, uh, song with the clean vocals is track nine, Let the Mountains Rise Upon the Land. And holy shit, I love the ending section of that song. There's acoustic guitars, which sound just fantastic. A little, a little quiet, in my opinion, in terms of the mix, but I think it works to its advantage with the vocal delivery going with it. And the thing that's so great about it is the layering of the clean vocals. I will say this, they're not the greatest clean vocals I've ever heard in my life, but they have so much emotion to them. In a way, it almost reminds me of Bathory with like the Hammer Heart Twilight of the Gods era where Corthon was never the most gifted singer, but he was able to deliver such emotion that it completely negated the fact that he wasn't a very talented singer. It just really helped portray that emotion more. And honestly, I think that works extremely well with this album, especially with the concept of the creation of Earth. It gives it this much more primal sort of sound. This isn't a very primitive album, but it definitely has its primal roots intact. And I absolutely think that is perfect. There are many sections to this album that are completely and utterly trans inducing, not just because it's a super repetitive riff like some bands try to rely upon. It's the massive soundscape that is created with all of the instruments being utilized together. It works extremely well and it creates this very spacey, trance inducing sound that I feel like Appalachian Winter has kind of been missing. A certain element that kind of makes them a bit more significant amongst all the other bands in U.S. black metal. And to me, this is the hallmark of what Appalachian Winter's sound has been missing. And this is what I always wish they had was that one quality that made me go, holy shit. And it's definitely the trance-like quality that every single song has on here. It doesn't matter which song it is. It doesn't matter... Uh, where it is in the song, it will always come by surprise, but ha about halfway through, maybe at the beginning, maybe towards the end, you don't know where that section is going to hit you, but when it hits you, you're taken to another place, and I absolutely love that. This is definitely an album for people that want to be taken away to another place, and for that merit alone, I love this album, and I will be returning to it many, many times. Also, excuse my voice, it is currently 3 a.m. and I'm trying to keep my voice down not to wake anyone else up in the house, so that's why my voice sounds a little off right now. Anyways, for a score, I'm giving this an 8.5 out of 10. I absolutely love it. It's the only parts that I have very slight nitpicky gripes with are a little bit in the mixing department here and there. I feel like some sections could have been turned down and other parts turned up or even the program drums for the faster parts, I wish they sounded a little bit more natural and a bit more human, but it's nothing too distracting to definitely make this an album to avoid. I highly recommend it. Um, definitely check this out. Links will be down below. If you are into what you hear, definitely pick up a copy. Nine Gates Records has uh, C physical copies, CDs, very, very nice packaging. Love the disc art. Very nice package. I uh, really like the booklet. Definitely adds to the effect of this album, where it's a definite like cinematic experience. So if this seems like something you would be interested in, definitely check it out and support Nine Gates Records.
plenty of fantastic bands on that label, including uh, Melancholia, one of my favorite, uh, excuse me, ambient projects, which I will be speaking more of in the future. But for Appalachian Winter, 8.5 out of 10. Highly, highly recommended. Check this out and pick up a copy. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.